sometimes I'm asked the same question over and over. And this week, the question has been, should I open this email? Uh, let me show you uh, my spam folder. I probably get eight or ten pieces of spam every week. And there's some emails in here that I want to show you. One of them is the classic uh, help desk style email. And it comes from an email address I am not familiar with. More importantly, it asks for two critical pieces of information, my username and my password. Now, I don't expect you to understand how managing a network uh, really happens, but I can tell you this, no network administrator will ever ask you for your password, ever. In fact, you should not give up your password to anyone unless they have a badge, is wearing a gun, and has a subpoena in hand. And at that point, you should probably consult your attorney. Never give your password to anyone. Now, there's some other emails here, this one from admin and one from Canon, that are a little more troubling. And that's because they didn't automatically go into spam. Let me show you why. This first one, this admin, comes from admin at lb.noacsc.org. That's her old domain. It's really hard to send an email from this domain. So that's the number one thing you should look at. If you get a message from anyone at lb.noacsc.org, treat it skeptically automatically. I've seen admin, canon, and documents this week alone. Now, here's why it's kind of a problem. Early on with Gmail, we had a problem with legitimate internal email going to spam. So I had to tell Google not to automatically put anything in spam that comes from one of our domains. So these messages aren't automatically going to spam. And this one's troubling because it has a file attachment that's a virus. Now, file attachments are the number one way of propagating viruses on the internet. So you should always be wary of file attachments. The first thing is, if you don't know the person that sent you the attachment, you should never open it. And the second thing is, if you're not expecting a file attachment from that person, uh, that's an even bigger red flag. You should not open it. So to summarize, never give your password up and never open an attachment that you're not expecting.